Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing so well and I am back again today with another thrift haul. I got all the pieces you see behind me in a vintage thrift haul for $15. I am so flipping excited about these pieces. I'm so excited to show you. I got these in one trip at the Goodwill Outlet bins and I pulled them all out from my time there and I wanted to show you just all my vintage items that I scored. And boy, did I score. So vintage is so popular right now. People love vintage items. They usually sell for quite a bit. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark. And so I like to pick up vintage items and I think that they are really special and they always have a story with them. So people are really liking vintage right now because of how cool, how unique things are. You don't find more than one of something that's vintage. I have 13 items to show you. I got 13 items for about $15. And I totaled up how much I think I can resell things for, and I'm hoping to get about $250 out of this haul. I am so pumped to show you what I got, and I'm keeping a few pieces for myself as well. But let's jump right in. The first piece I found in my first bin, those first bins, when you go into the outlet and you're doing it, at least the way they're doing it in Delaware, where you have to wait in line, you have a number, and then you only have 45 seconds to look through your bin, your first bin is super important because that is the only time you're going to be the first person to see something. And so I found this in that bin and my whole bin was children's clothes. I don't resell children's clothes and they were all kind of ratty. I almost wrote off this entire bin and then I saw one little package in the bottom of the bin. This was a two piece set cellophane wrapped in the bottom of the bin and it was not a children's item. Let me show you it. Oh, did I mention that all these pieces pretty much fit me? So I'm going to try them on for you. It's going to be interesting. Not all of them are going to look really good on me, but you know, I got to give the people what they want. And I know you want to see me try things on and also look a little ridiculous. So I'm here for that. The first piece is this vintage white Nike tracksuit. This was cellophane together. I just saw this part poking out the Nike swoosh with this tag. And I just thought this was too good to be true. I opened it there at the bins to make sure I knew what was inside the little baggie. And oh my gosh, I like flipped out because this is super cool. I freaking love this. This is so high quality. So this has a hood. It's out of the like swishy nylon material, but it's also lined. And it's a triple XL. So it comes down here to the hem. It's a zipper all the way up the front. And... It's 100% polyester and then it also has the matching bottoms oh my gosh they're so cool so we've got the stretchy waistband and then we've got pockets on the side and then it also has zippers here at the knee to detach the bottom of the leg so you can turn this into a sweatshirt and shorts kind of combo and then it has a little one butt pocket here on the back and these are also in the triple xl and they also have a little tie waist in addition to being the stretch. So let me put these on for you. I'm sure it'll be hilarious. This isn't my normal go-to look. So we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so I have tilted you down so you can see the full glory of this outfit. Oh my gosh, I'm so warm already. Also, there are so many bells and whistles on this. I just noticed when I put it on, there's a, like a little Velcro closure right at the wrist. Oh my gosh, like okay tell me this isn't pretty cool oh wow Ooh, it's kind of hard to show you the legs but this is like intensely white like also definitely too big for me but also the legs <laughs> the bottoms do not feel like a 3xl like i wear like a large and extra large and i feel like i don't have as much room as i thought you would have the top is huge but also, like, I feel like I could go and patrol some, like, snowy mountains in this, you know? Like, let me add them. Like, a little bit of, like, a Scooby-Doo moment. Like, when they're dressed up and they're, like, skiing somewhere. But I feel like... Like, this is, like, such a vibe, you know? You gotta be confident to wear this. And I think that it's pretty cool. Yep, this is a look, that's for sure. So I'm gonna move on to the next piece. This next piece is also super duper cool. I showed it to Jeremy and he loved it. So it is this really cool asymmetrical coat. 
and I love it so much. It's got snap closures as well as a zipper on the inside. It's by the brand Grand Targi. And let me see, let me show you that. So it's Grand Targi, it's a size medium. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. This thing is warm. And then it also has this really cool, almost like tribal looking detail across there, as well as quilting mixed with just regular fabric. I think this is a really, really cool piece. And I love the color blocking and the interesting shapes that it creates. So let me try this one on. This one might be a little too small for me, but you know, what the hey, let's try it anyway. I didn't mean to rhyme. Did your mom call my mom to invite me to go sledding with you? I think she did. Honestly, this thing fits me pretty well. I did not have high hopes for it fitting me well. Mostly because I like to size up in jackets. This must be a men's medium, which actually will make it easier to sell, but <laughs> I threw on some leggings so I could show off this bad boy jacket to its full ability. Oh my gosh, it is so cool. Like, look at that. I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder because I think this is hilarious. Oh my gosh, how cool is this jacket? I love that even when you like undo the first button here, it folds down into that little triangle. What a cool detail. So I don't have a shirt on underneath this, so I'm not gonna fold it down all the way, but like I just love how even like unbuttoning a button creates a whole new shape and color. Like that's really cool. This is a really cool piece, but I just think this is an amazing piece. I kind of dig it a lot. I think this is super sweet. Like if you showed up to a random event a COVID friendly event wearing this, I feel like you would be the talk of the town, you know? It's in pristine condition and I paid like a dollar for this and I feel like I could sell this probably for like 50 bucks easily. Oh my gosh, I think it's so cool. Maybe I'll even some take some pictures of me like modeling it for my listing, but if you like this jacket, dude, you can find that on my Poshmark and it is pretty sweet. I feel like my mom's watching this and is like, Becca, you hated it when I bought that for you in like third grade. And now I'm like, oh, this is so cool. Sorry, mom, <laughs> but for real, didn't we like all own this jacket to go slutting in when we were like in third grade? Anywho, so this is a win. This next piece I got in the bins. These are all from the bins. So it was $1.49 per pound. So everything's about a dollar, honestly, because not much of it weighs much more than that. This next piece I found is this really cool dad sweater. I love all the diamond shaping, detailing, all the varying colors. I think it is so, so cool. I ran this through the wash and it feels even softer now. The only issue I found with this is that I didn't see the staining on it because of this color scheme. Like, I don't feel like you can tell really. But right here on this triangle over here is like some browning. So like, obviously, unless this comes up really super like crazy on the camera, I think it's really, really hard to tell in person. So obviously I will list that in my listing, but honestly, I feel okay about selling something like this that has something wrong with it because I really feel like you can't tell. Maybe editing Becca will chime in and be like, yeah, you can totally tell and it's awful. And then we'll just donate it back to Goodwill. But I think it's okay. Let me know in the comments down below though, if you think that this is too noticeable. I really, I really want to know what you guys think because you are fresh eyes. So please let me know. But let's try it on, shall we? Gosh, this is so comfortable. I love it. Sometimes these are scratchy, but this one really isn't. As I was taking off that last jacket, I found a little pocket on the inside, like in the inside of like the opening of the sleeve. And you know, you know that I looked in that and was hoping to find a wallet or something interesting to tell you guys about, but there was nothing this time. But you will know, if you've been watching my videos, why I was checking that little pocket, because if you saw my last haul, OMG, what I found in that pocket like killed me. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it right up here right now and you need to go watch it because it was kind of crazy. Lawrence really did a number on us. But back to the sweater that I'm wearing. This sweater is super cute and it's so comfy, so oversized. Like this is like my ideal like lounging around the house sweater. I think it's super cute. I love the varying colors and yes, it is like a dad sweater from the 80s. But honestly, this is so on trend right now. Also, like if you tucked it in, obviously not with my leggings, but if you tucked this into a pair of high-waisted like jeans from like Madewell, I feel like that is a look. So I think this is super cute. Again, if you can really tell, 
about the staining on this, let me know. But I think it looks really good, at least from what I can see. I'm pretty happy about this piece. <laughs> really cool. I think it's really nice. And honestly, it's really soft. You wouldn't have to put a t-shirt or a tank top underneath it, which I think we all appreciate, especially when we're just going to rock a look around the house which we all should be doing, so stay home and stay safe. This next piece, my husband loves. He, I picked it up for his closet and he's glad I did. I think it's really cool too, but he is obsessed with it. He doesn't even like the Denver Broncos, but it's a pretty cool sweatshirt. It is this vintage Denver Broncos crew neck. So this is a really, really cool old style Reebok sweatshirt and all of this is embroidered on. So it's all 3D and so nice i love even just like the little indented triangle up here i think is really cool love the coloring it's an amazing condition there's nothing pulling or falling off it's just a really beautiful it's really a dark navy blue i think it's picking it up on camera which is a complementary color to orange so it really pops out a lot and then here on the back we just have this nice seaming right there and let me show you the tag there's the vintage Reebok and it is a size medium. People are loving vintage crewnecks right now, so this will sell really well on Jeremy's Poshmark, which is listed down below in the description box along with mine. Okay, now let's talk about this crew neck. This is so cute. This is a size medium. I was worried about it being a vintage medium because like I can wear a men's medium right now, but like who knows how things change, you know, when they're vintage, so. But honestly, it fits me really well. Also, I would just totally rock it with these leggings I'm wearing. Like, super comfy, super cozy. Oh my gosh, somebody wore this thing in. It feels so nice. And I think it looks really nice too. But I am so glad I picked this up. I actually picked this up in the bins because I saw this really trendy girl at the bins and I always like to like follow those people around at the end when we're sorting our carts because I know that they're gonna put back some items that I might like. And that's exactly what happened. She put this back in the bins along with like a ton of other stuff. She had two full carts that she was weeding down. And I saw this in there and I grabbed it because I thought, wow, that's a cool piece. I know it's a good crew neck, so nice. I love the embroidery. Embroidery is so on trend. You'll see that in a few other pieces as well. <laughs> Next up, Jeremy thought I was absolutely crazy for picking this up, but I think it's so cute. I picked it up for myself, so I will show you. I washed it. It's got some stains on it, which is why I'm not gonna resell it. But also I picked it up because I have been really, really into like embroidery and just like stitching detail on things lately. And I really wanted some unique pieces to add into my wardrobe because I love to like start a conversation around what you're wearing. I think that's really cool. This is a very unique piece though, not gonna lie. It's a, <laughs> it's kind of like a cross stitched piece. Like some grandma definitely like cross stitched this herself on a sweater. At least that's what I think, but it is this beautiful light blue <laughs> cross stitched goose sweater like <laughs> you're gonna either hate this or love this i think it's amazing maybe i'm gonna watch this back and be like rebecca what were you thinking but honestly this goose is kind of cute right <laughs> somebody stitched this this little goose with this blue ribbon going around it and then a little heart oh. <laughs> guys i think i love it oh. i feel like my sister is gonna watch this and be like what the heck are you thinking <laughs> Or my dad. My dad always texts me about the weird things that I pick up. And he's like, why did you do that? I think that is so cute. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of French tucking into my my leggings. So it's quite the look. Fits me really well. It's really soft and comfortable. It's got a weird fit around the neck. But like, I'm not hating it so much. It looks really nice, honestly. And like, <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm probably popping your eardrums. Can you see that? It's literally like when you have something cross-stitched onto an embroidery hoop. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is the exact look of this. I know that this is a divisive item, but please let me know down below. If you hate this, if you love it, either way, like, if you hate it, I can just sell it on Poshmark. I do think it's cute, but also I'm sure that some people are going to hate it. So, let me know down below. Is it cute? Is it not cute? Do I keep it? Do I sell it? Do you like the goose? That is a very important question. But if you don't like the goose sweatshirt, you might not like the next piece either. But if you do like the goose sweatshirt, you will like the next piece. Next up, we have a very grandma sweater, which I am so excited about. It's this 
darling sweater that says home is where the heart is. It's an amazing green color. This nice crew neck at the top. And then again, we got embroidery, embroidery for the win. All these little hearts and then in the middle, home is where the heart is. Honestly, if Jeremy let me keep more than a couple things on each haul, I would be in dire straits in my closet for one, but I also would probably keep this. I think it's so cute. It is from the brand Retro Action and it is a size 20 wide. So this is a plus size piece. Tell me I am not your grandma. Like, come on, doesn't everyone's grandma own this sweater or something very similar? I kind of dig it. I think that the neck is really cute. It's almost like a mock neck. It comes up so high, but it's not restrictive at all. It's very, very stretchy, very, very comfortable. Also, I love this, the fit of the crew neck. It's so nice. Also, I've got lots and lots of room in here in the arms as well as just in the torso. Very stretchy. It can be very long if you want. I always like do a French tuck. I think it's super cute. Like I got this for like a dollar and I think it is so pretty. I can imagine my grandma wearing this with like a little white button up underneath. You, you know it. Like a little collar sticking out. You would be in full grandma territory. And the next piece is a little bit in the same kind of vibe. Cottage core is very, very trendy right now. And I feel like these kind of fit into cottage core a little bit at least. So the next one is another very like homey t-shirt. Like how cute is this? It is this Victorian home on this purple t-shirt. I think it is so cute. Again, it's by the brand PS Originals. And it is in a 2X. So it's nice and large. And it says Victorian Cape May, PS Originals, underneath it on the front. And I think it's just so sweet. I'm loving people dressing sweet these days. I feel like people went through a really hard edged kind of phase and now we can get more into like a nice and sweet kind of vintage feel. I love that. I think that's really fun. This piece, I think it's pretty cute. Like I can see some trendy girls wearing this right now like this with like some sort of jacket over it, jeans and black booties. I think this is a look. I think it's pretty cute. I like how nice and oversized it is. Obviously if a 2X is your size, then it wouldn't be oversized. It would just fit you properly. But I think that this is really pretty. I love the colors. I think the purple and the pinks is just a really nice combination. Also, <laughs> look at the roof. The roof has all these little flowers on it. I didn't notice that until I was putting it on. And even like this part of the, the house itself is really like floral and this has like lacy details to it. I just think this is so flipping adorable. <laughs> I really do. So I love that I've thrifted so many plus size pieces in this haul. That is so good. I just love that I can get a variety of sizes onto my Poshmark closet because I want to be able to service everyone. I don't want to leave any person out of being able to find something from my closet, from my business that they could love. I just wanna be really size inclusive. So I think this piece fits with my mission really, really well, but also it's super duper adorable. Like, ah, it is just so, it's just so cute. This is a t-shirt. This probably cost me like 50 cents. So very, very happy with this one. So let's move on to the next piece, which is this really cute little i don't know how to describe what this is honestly it's vintage for sure it's by the brand cricket lane and it is in a size extra large and it is this really pastel piece so it's got kind of this very vintage almost like an 80s cut to it where we've got the cinching at the end of these sleeves and as well on the bottom at the top we have this beautiful edging the whole thing is this really cute pastel pink purple green and yellow kind of a cross hatch with edging here, edging here, and then we all we have the same edging as the very top on the pockets as well. And then the whole thing too is kind of like this textured fabric. Can you see that? The difference between the hem and this white part. It's a very unique piece. Also, I love that the detailing on the neckline goes all the way around. It doesn't just stop at the front. Everything else is just on the front. But I thought it was a unique piece. It has no flaws on it. It's just white, which is very hard to get from the bins. So I thought that I'd pick it up. And I feel like somebody out there is going to love this piece. Maybe you're one of them, but let me try this on for you. Okay, so this one took me a little bit of time to figure out because there's shoulder pads and I had to unfold them and everything. Honestly, it's pretty cute. I'm having a hard time seeing it because of how white it is on my camera. So you'll have to let me know if this is cute or not. I think it's kind of pretty. I kind of love all of this really pretty like 
pastel. I love the pastel coloring. I think that's really unique. And I think all the detailing is super cute, super fun. Love the pockets, think that's cute. And then here's the back for you. But yeah, I'm not gonna be able to really tell what this looks like until I edit it, because I'm just, I'm just a white blob to me. But if you like this, let me know down below. But this is this piece. I think that somebody is gonna really love this piece because I will put this up on my Poshmark. I really love the sleeve length. I think that's my favorite part almost. Like I love a longer short sleeve. I think this is really my cut. I don't love things that come to like right there. I think it makes your arm look a lot bigger than it is. I like a long cut and I think that's more, almost more European and more futuristic as well. So I like the cut of this. I just don't know if it's particularly like my style. So again, let me know your comments. Let me know your feedback down below and let's go on to the next piece. So you're either going to hate this or love this. I feel like that's the way of vintage. These are all so unique. We went from like Nike to Denver Broncos to a goose like crosshatch. So this is, this piece is no different. This is like an Easter sweater vest. It is embroidered. It's by the brand Bryn Connolly and it's in a 1X, and it is this pastel pink, like, Easter vest. I think it is so cute. So it has little Easter eggs embroidered, little bunnies embroidered, butterflies, baskets full of eggs. Like, I hope you can see this. I'm trying to give you some angles so you can get the coloring. Like, it is so darling. The very best part about this sweater, though, are the button or little embroidered hearts like all of the buttons are these little white hearts how cute is that omg the colors of this are just so perfect like i know sweater vests are very very popular right now and i just i had a good feeling about this i just think it's so unique and so cute the buttons man those buttons are everything. Okay, if this is not gonna be like the most Easter combination, I don't know what it is. I don't think I would ever wear this, but if I saw somebody rocking this, it's all about confidence, ladies. It's all about confidence. This is the sweater vest. Oh, it is so Easter. I love the pink. Oh my gosh, these colors are honestly to die for. The green, the blue, the pink. There's a little bobble sticking out. It has potential and also I could tuck it in. It is just such a cool and unique piece. It doesn't, it does not continue on the back. It's just pink on the back and then you're just like hit by all this Easter on the front. So I am very happy I picked this up. Jeremy definitely, definitely thinks that it is a mistake, but I keep telling him like people love sweater vests right now. They really do. So I picked that up and let's try on the next piece. I bought this specifically for myself, but I did find this really beautiful pastel green button up. It's got this really nice gathering right here along the seam on the front and then we have pastel flowers embroidered on the collar as well as like kind of like a scalloping detail on the collar as well. I envision this tucked into a pair of high-waisted jeans. I don't own anything in green hardly or anything in this color at least and I think that it's so pretty so let's try it on. Yeah I really like this. I love I just think this gathering even helps this make it kind of special. I definitely need to wash it or steam it. It's pretty wrinkly right now, but I do think that this is really cute. Cute. I love the little collar. I think that's really nice. And I just think it fits me pretty well, honestly. Like I love the sleeve length. It's that longer short sleeve. Like I was saying, I feel like that always makes my arms look nice. And so I am excited about that. I love that I can tuck it in. It's honestly not the best quality in the world. Like I can tell the buttons are kind of cheaper, but for what I want to use it for, I think this is so cute. Our next piece is this denim t-shirt that is completely embroidered on the front with flowers, like bouquets of flowers. I think this is so cute. Again, embroidery is super in right now, super popular. I just, I think it makes it look so unique, so expensive. This is by the brand Bobby Brooks Woman in a size 22 wide 24 wide i'll get you a close-up of the embroidery it's just the cutest little flowers also like i think that right here on the collar i think that is so cute that they embroidered on both sides so even if you were wearing this underneath something else and just having the collar poke out like that would be stunning let's try this on so again i think this is a really cute piece i do think that this piece is too big for me 
I think it needs to be a little bit more tailored in. So I don't think this piece is for me particularly, but I do think it's really pretty. So I love all these details, all the embroidered flowers and the collar. Yeah, these, this is really cute. It's just not, I don't think it fits me well enough to keep it. I also have a denim shirt that I like better than this. So, so I won't be keeping this, but this will be going up on my Poshmark. So if this is your size, or if you think it would look better on you than it does on me, have at it, you can pick it up there. So we are ready for my last piece I picked up, which is one of my favorites. When I found it in the bins, I was flipping over the moon. I was so excited. I literally ran up to this like random other guy that I don't even know that's another reseller and I was like, look what I found. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you. How cute is this? It is so vintage 90s. The tag is almost almost worn down all the way. But it's a Disney company t-shirt and it's a one size fits all. And I just think it's so flipping adorable. I love this like greenish blue pastel color. I've got a lot of pastels in this actually. This haul has a lot. But it says work out together on it. <laughs> it's making it mini and like full on. 80s workout gear. I think this is so flipping cute. I think this is so nice. Oh, and it is so soft. They just don't make clothes this soft anymore, I feel like. Maybe it's just because they're worn in so much, but they are so nice. I think that this is a very special top. I can definitely see myself selling this for quite a bit, and I probably paid like 25 to 50 cents for it because it's so light. So that is it for my vintage clothing thrift haul. I found so many cool pieces. Honestly, you're either going to love this video or you're going to hate it. And so I just ask that you please be kind in the comments. If you don't like anything, that's okay. We all have different tastes. But if you did like this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed to my videos and you like this kind of content, I do so many thrifting videos. It is kind of crazy. I have an issue. But if you like this, then hit subscribe down below. And you can also hit that notification bell to be notified every time I make a new video. I am so glad you guys were here today. I had a blast trying on all these clothes for you. It was kind of hilarious. I had a great time. My favorite pieces were probably this workout Mickey shirt and my goose sweater. It's just like... It just veered my heart. I also really liked that purple jacket in the beginning and the Denver Broncos crew neck. I think I just found so many cool pieces, it's hard for me to choose. But let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite piece and help me decide on the pieces that I struggled with because I really do need help. I am the most indecisive person on the planet. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. Just keep your chin up. I know these times are kind of hard right now, but just try your best to keep smiling and be kind to those around you. I love you guys so much and I hope you have a great day. Until the next video, bye.